Hey guys, how's it going? It's Woody HD and welcome back to the World's Career Mode. We are at home to QPR in our next game as we're approaching. We are one day away, in fact, from the start of the January transfer window. As I said, let me let me know, guys, down below who you think I should sign, maybe improve the team, who you think I should get rid of. Um, obviously, like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe so you don't miss a single one of these videos as we try and push towards the Premier League in our first ever season. And we've got the semi-finals of the EFL coming up as well. So let's get into this next game though at home to QPR on the league and let's try and get another three points. Here we go then, we are back at home as we take on QPR, one of the one of the only few teams to beat us this season already. Can we respond and beat them today and get another three points and try and stay top of that league? Well it's the first chance of the game and it's easily collected by Akemi, the ball's bobbling around in there. It's an open game early on here in QPR, get the first real chance. Oh, QPR coming forward again! And they have taken the lead. QPR take the lead. What is it against playing against QPR? And they have struck first and it's 1-0. Nice ball around the back. Now then Wallace is going to cut inside here. Oh, Wallace, great strike! Could it be a finish on the rebound? It is! It is an equaliser! The equaliser comes and Cavalero is the man again. Who's on fine, fine form. We get a bit of luck here. It comes off the defending Cavalero, taps it into the net for his seventh goal of the season, and we are level here. And they have a corner here, five minutes to go before half time. Corner for Kupi, I think the first corner of this game. It's an open game as we look to get this ball out. Dekemi's coming for it, and he collects very well. And there it is, half time, a very, very open game. This at the moment, chances at both ends, and it's 1-1. They went ahead through a very fine work goal, but we're back at level through Cavalero's sent of the season. It's all to play for in the second half. Oh, lovely ball through, and now there's a great chance here. What a finish! It's Naki Wells. Who else? Who else? Well, Cavalero's been put in the mid recently as well, but Naki Wells, I thought this might have been offside. It wasn't. Keep a thought about coming out. He was way off his line, and Naki Wells, what a start to the second half with his seventh of the season, and it's 2-1. Oh, what brilliant play, what brilliant play, and just couldn't quite get, chested it down, but it's too close to the keeper, but a brilliant bit of football that. Oh, this is fantastic football again, and it could be a chance here, and surely on the rebound, no, we just can't quite get to it, and a fantastic start to the second half, great intensity. Oh, and it's just past the post, and QPR try to get down the field really, really quickly, and it wasn't far wide there. Also, oh, a chance here for QPR. Great save, and on the rebound, it is 2 all. A hugely open game now, and QPR are not out of this one by far. I thought when we were 2 and up, we might get all the chances now, but it's not the case. It's 2 all. And there it is, full time. A very, very entertaining game. It ends 2 all in the end. And that was a very entertaining game. End to end stuff. The start of the second half. Well, they scored first. We well, I start the second half. We came flying on the blocks. We were absolutely incredible. And then QPR got their spell in the second half. And they made it count. Great save from McKemmy. But the rebound and it went in. Uh, and it's a, it's, it's a fantastic game. A point is a point against QPR. That's probably one of the best attacking in terms of attacking, probably one of the best opponents we've faced this season. QPR were very dangerous going forward. And it's an exciting 2-2 draw to end the game. Loads of chances. Loads of moments in the game. But it ends 2-2. Uh, of course, when you're up here, Newcastle lost uh, their game. Uh, I don't know about the other results. But, you know, it always feels like two points drop when you're up this far up the table. You know, you always feel two points dropped, you know, unless you're playing really bad or whatever. But we still have a two-point lead at the top of the standings going in to the transfer window. This is the transfer window. This is a chance now. Expanding a brand this moment is going to hit now, Mark. Please revisit the two objectives. I think this is 85% uh, attendance, youth development, financial... Increase the club's worth. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how James Henry's returning transfer offer. But Carla Kemi, we're going to get a lot of offers here for a lot of players. And tempted to strengthen the team. 
uh, we're playing return to Mundi. Dick goes back into the training sessions. He, we need him back. How long has he been out for now? And House as well. Have both been out for so long. We've done very, very well without them. Uh, playtime, he's not happy as I were playtime. But we're trying to keep the best 11 going. You know, it's, it's difficult. Um, as we're going to do the player development here. So as I said, let me know guys down below who you think I should sign. I got a feeling, I've got a big feeling we're gonna get a lot of offers in this transfer window. Carla Keme again, he's gonna get a lot of attention. But we want to keep a Keme in the team. I don't know about his contract situation, we'll have to have a look at that. Offers coming in left, right, and centre. Of course, I think he is obviously we're top of the league. He's got the most clean sheets, I think, in uh, the championship, so he's gonna be in demand here. Huge amount of offers already for Kemi. I'm only on the second day of the window. But let me know what position do you think we should strengthen. The squad, you know, with House coming back. Ekonambe coming back. Deco coming back. Do we really... I don't know if we really need strengthening. I don't, we haven't got that much of a budget left. Uh, but let me guys, let, guys, let me know down below what you think. We're still top of the league by two points. Transfer window open. Let me know you think I should sign or get rid of, etc. But thank you for watching. I've been Woody HD. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.